This building may not be able to be occupied, you know, in the future. And so we might end up meeting at homes. And I think as a pastor, I'm ready for that, too. And I just realized I'll become a circuit rider. And right, Robert can hold four in his living room. Jerry can hold ten, you know. And we'll have services that way. Private homes. That will probably be the last bastion for government intrusion. But I think even when you look at communist countries, that's what's happened. Even private homes, you know, are not off limits. And, and they'll come knocking, you know as well too. So that's my opinion. I could be totally wrong on this, but I think I have a lot of biblical basis on this um, and, and to look at what's happened. And I thought to myself the other day, we have um, probably close to 40 members of this body of Christ who are no longer attending this church right now. And I thought to myself, Redeemer's never had a controversy in which 40 people left the church. We've never had a doctrinal issue, or even if somebody doesn't like the pastor, you've never had 40 people just Lord, Lord, coming, you know. Whatever, you take any issue, of, and I know why people leave for a lot of different issues, okay. I thought to myself, that's, that's really interesting, you know, that who would have thunk it, as they say, that a virus would take, and I, I counted the other day, I thought about this, I'm praying, it, it's basically like almost half of our membership is no longer attending. And, and the truth is, many of those will not come back. It's not going to happen because this virus is not going away. It's going to be with us until we die, essentially. So all I'm doing is this. You might ask, well, what are you doing about it, Pastor? Well, I'm praying a lot, and I hope you are too. There, there's only one person that can help us, right? There's only one person that can help us, and it's not me. I can't do it. Um, so a lot of prayers are going forth. What, what I am grateful for is you contacting other people. And, and just letting them know that they are missed, and we pray for them, and listening to them, and let them explain their reasons, okay? And, and just encourage them. Uh, one person I contacted last week, and they came to church on Sunday, which was great, you know? So I think that's just how it's going to have to happen for those who cannot come or will not come for their reasons, and, and they are convinced of their reasons, and that's fine. Uh, please, please let them know that I'm here to serve them, and I will not deprive them of the Lord of the Sacraments, and that will go forth. So uh, we'll be okay. Um, our church is going to be thinner. It's going to be leaner. It's going to be less people. Uh, we've been tested, and I think God's going to work his good. His promises always remain. So I have a lot of confidence in the Lord. He, you know what? He knows what he's doing, and, and I question it sometimes, but I like question it all the time, all the time. And that's my sin, and for that I must repent. Anyway, um, so, you know, just maintain the contact with people is all I can say. People were glad. I called them. Man, it's so good to hear your voice, Pastor. I said, you know what? I'm glad you'd like to hear my voice. I said, it's even better in person. <laughs> 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 yeah. One person a few months ago asked me, do you use the sound system when you leave the service? And I said, why do you ask? <laughs> I said, yes, I use the sound system. It's uh, purely analog. It's created by God without any distortion. <laughs> and they were just talking to me. They talked about sound systems. You know, really, when you think about it, a sound system is never a good thing when it comes down to it. It's an artificial amplification, which creates a lot of distortion, echo, and everything, too. So the more you can do just a natural you know, type of thing is, is always the best, too. So anyways, any other prayers or any requests? Uh, we're going to carry on. Uh, yeah, do spread the word because I, I, I know there are some people in our congregation who, um, because we did not meet outside, were not coming because they felt they could not be in conformity with the edicts from Governor Newsom. So if you could help with that and at least put the word out that we are inside. Um, and honestly, the, the communication being what it is, uh, our communication has not been good. Some people have not received the communications. And they don't really know what's happening. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, somebody said, are we indoors yet? I said, I don't know. Let me check, you know. So communication, just let them know we're back inside, no smoke, air conditioned, and uh, comfort. Uh, Jerry O'Lennon is on the board of evangelism now because on the show today, well, actually tomorrow, he, he signed off. He says, now listen to that, people. There's no excuse. Get back to church. 